If you want to get all nines or all a stars, you need to get disciplined and stop procrastinating. There's no way around it. When I reduced my procrastination around two years ago, that was when I saw a sudden increase in my performance, not only in school, but also in other aspects of my life. But how did I do it? Let's get right into it. Now, firstly, to defeat our enemy, which is procrastination, we need to understand it. Your body doesn't want to prevent you from doing beneficial things like studying or going to the gym or reading a book, but we give it no choice. The dopamine system in our brain has been hijacked by modern technology, mostly TikTok and other social media and YouTube and Netflix and so on. If my baseline, what I do most of the time, is to constantly feed myself meaningless dopamine from these sources, when I try to do something that gives me less dopamine, even though it's beneficial, I'll still struggle. I mean, think about it. Most of the time when you're procrastinating, you're not just sitting down and staring at a wall. It's usually when you're on your phone or something like that. If you're just sitting down staring at a wall for the whole day but then it comes time to studying you'll be excited you'll want to do it because it's engaging it's way more engaging than just staring at a wall but if you're on your phone and then you check the time you see it's like 9 30 you're like oh i need to study now but let me just watch one more youtube video or one more tiktok and you keep on going and all of a sudden half of the day is lost that's because your brain knows that the dopamine it's getting from the tiktok or the youtube you're watching is way higher than what you're gonna get from the studying so how can we overcome this we need to detox ourselves there's hundreds of videos on YouTube about dopamine detoxing and its benefits, and you should watch some of them. Me personally, when I have exams coming up, I'll completely delete Instagram because I know it's just a source of meaningless dopamine and it will waste my time and, and energy. Maybe I'll check my DMs on my laptop a couple of times a day, but that's it. I don't scroll. I also rarely watch Netflix, just in general, and I never have TikTok on my phone. I do this to make my body more sensitive towards dopamine. If I'm desensitized because of all of the junk content that I'm consuming, it'll be nearly impossible for me to just sit down and focus. I'll just be thinking about that YouTube video I watched or, or wanting to check my Instagram or Snapchat or so on. But if I'm more sensitive towards dopamine, then sitting down and focusing on my studying will become much easier. That leads me on to my second point, which is studying doesn't necessarily have to be fun, but it definitely should not be boring. Put it quite simply, if your brain is engaged, it's not bored, even though it's not necessarily having fun. Now, of course, you need to engage your brain while studying to make that studying effective. So if you're bored while studying, then you're doing something wrong. If you're just studying passively, like reading and highlighting and coloring in your notes, then you're not engaging your brain. Let's say you do an hour long session of just that, you know, reading and highlighting. Your brain is going to be bored the whole time because it's not engaged. And now here's the problem. If most of the studying you do is that passive studying, then you've subconsciously associated studying with boredom. So now next time you think of studying, all you'll think of is just how boring it is and how you don't want to do it. You'll have no motivation to study, and so you'll procrastinate. Now something else I did to beat procrastination is I just changed my mindset when it comes to studying. Instead of thinking to myself, oh I need to sit down and do some practice questions and make some flashcards. Instead, I'll think to myself, you know I need to study so that I can smash that exam, get good grades, get into a good uni, and eventually get a good job and a good career. I try to think of the bigger picture. Humans are naturally goal driven. So when you have that bigger goal in mind, it's easier to take the smaller decision of just sitting down and studying. Think of someone that goes to the gym. I'd say most people that go to the gym have a dream physique in mind. When they go to the gym, they don't say, oh, I'm going to go to the gym just to move some metal plates up and down. They think to themselves, you know, I'm going to go to the gym so that I can work towards that goal of achieving that dream physique. And that mindset is what gives them the motivation and energy to bust out those final reps when their muscles start aching in a set. And most of the progress they'll make will be from those final reps. Likewise, that mindset will give you the motivation to get up and start studying. And not only that, you'll keep studying until you've smashed that goal for today, working towards the bigger goal of being successful. Now, something else I did to beat procrastination is I just made my studying technique more efficient. Let me give you an analogy. What are you more likely to procrastinate? Buying something from a store or buying something online? Buying something from a store, right? If you want to buy something online, you just open your phone, go on the website, find the product, press checkout, and then within two minutes, you've bought it. But now if you want to buy something from the store, you need to get dressed, you need to commute there, you need to go to the store, look for the product. Oh, they don't have it in this store, I need to go to this store, find it in that store, buy it, and then commute back. Even though the outcome is the same, which is getting your hands on that product, one is way longer than the other. And so you're more likely to procrastinate buying something from a store. Likewise, if your studying is very inefficient and you need to get in four hours of studying just to get one hour of effective studying in, then you're way more likely to procrastinate. That's why you need to optimize your studying technique to become way more efficient when you study. So that when you sit down and you study for an hour, you get an hour of effective studying, not 20 minutes. I've made numerous videos on how to optimize your studying technique and what I use, but to keep it short, use the 80-20 rule. 
find that 20% of things you do when studying that yield the most results and use them 100% of the time when you study. Get rid of all the passive studying things like reading and highlighting and coloring in your notes and just focus on the important things. If you want a more detailed explanation on how I study so effectively that I only revise 30 minutes a day, then watch this video right here.